The HP Prime was released in 2013, and while opinion is divided about its features and functionality, the colour 320x240 LCD touchscreen is excellent. Quick response, or QR codes, are a two-dimensional barcode standard invented in 1994 that currently supports 40 different versions for encoding different types and amounts of data with error correction. Version 1 outputs a matrix of 21 by 21 and version 40 a matrix of 177 by 177. QR codes can be used to encode a variety of information that can be quickly and easily scanned using a mobile phone. This includes a website, a contact card, text message, email and so on. I thought the Prime display would be great for displaying QR codes, so I decided to implement a QR code generator for it. I decided to use Prime Python, which is a MicroPython port. So I started with a standalone MicroPython port of the Python QR code module. The port does not include any graphical output as this is platform dependent. To port it to the Prime, I had to remove encoding optimization due to the limited implementation of regular expressions on the Prime, which unfortunately does not include all the regular expression methods of standard MicroPython. There were also some issues with method argument types that needed fixing. I then implemented the QR code generation using the Prime Python graphics functions. The program takes a string as input and generates the appropriate version QR code based on the string length. If the input is a number, a default QR code is generated, which is a link to this YouTube channel. To demonstrate, I have already entered a number of strings on the stack to be encoded. I have successfully tested scanning these and a number of other QR codes on an iPhone. The first example is a simple string, which will generate a web search for HP Prime. So I'll roll down the stack to the string and then run QR. And that generates a small, simple QR code, which will result in a search for uh, the string HP Prime. The second example is the URL to the Museum of HP Calculators website forum section. Just roll down to that entry. I'll run the QR code program. And now we can see the QR code for that website. The last example is a contact card using vCard format. Uh, note that uh, you need to include backslash R for the line separators within the their vCard string. So then if we run the program on the vCard string, we get the QR code for that dummy vCard. You can see how the larger strings generate different versions of QR code to support the increasing amount of data input. You could also use the QR code program to capture program output if placed in a string for error corrected transfer to a mobile phone for storage or use elsewhere. See the description for a link to download the program and a link to the reference port I used. You will need a Prime firmware version that supports Python. Let me know in the comments if it works with your input and phone.